from back to my channel stay forever true so today i want to talk really quickly well not really quickly i'm not gonna try to rush y'all off but i want to talk about why you should have an altar space or a sacred space in your home some may also call it uh like a zen den or meditation room any of that uh, I just want to talk about why you should have it and how it actually has changed my life having one in my home. And you all, I don't live in a big home like I live in a townhouse. So I was able to basically create it out of this little closet that we have underneath our steps, like a utility closet. You put like, I don't know, tissue and stuff like that. It's super little, like I can I can't stand up in it but it's the perfect space like one day i was just cleaning and i was i guess the ancestors came to me and was just like this is your zen space this is your meditation space um so that's what it is and it has helped me tremendously so if i look tired i am it's pretty much midnight i have two kids um a two-year-old and an almost eight-month-old yeah i'm tired but i want to get these videos out for you all so the number one reason why i say that you should have it is because of this like so we say you go to work all day every day right and you're tired you have all this drama happening at work it's a lot of stuff coming at you and you have to constantly like give and give and give to people you have to give good customer service or you have to give information or you just have to be there on somebody's time, right? Or even, say you don't even work, say maybe you have kids and you're constantly giving to your children or giving to your spouse, just pushing out energy. Um, when you come home, finally, you know, your house is in a sense, your sacred space, right? You come home, you're indoors, you don't have to do anything for anybody unless you got kids or a spouse <laughs> um but you know what i mean like it's your space you can relax take your shoes off let your hair down this is your space your energy your essence so there's that but you still share your homes usually with other people or people come in your house they see your house yada 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 but you can go even deeper and have your own space within your home that you specifically have for specific reasons okay so for me um having a sacred space it really really helped me to finally implement meditation into my life on a daily basis now i'm not saying that i do it every day i'm getting a lot better like the first time i i had this space i was meditating twice a day every day for like two weeks and then life happened and i, I kind of was pushing to the side but now i'm getting right like way back on to track with things i'm sorry my my I can't even talk but i'm getting back on track with things but it helped me to just do it because at first i wasn't even doing it really but it really helped me to do that because just think about it if you if you make the space for something then you're more than likely going to do it so you know if you want to i don't know freaking it's just like with anything you know you have to make the space for it in order for you to be able to do it so it's a space specifically for you your energy it's like your haven or like i said your sacred space so there's plenty of things that you can do in your sacred space but the reason why i feel like you should have it is to help you to to disconnect and reconnect or to uh disconnect and get in sync it's just to go within yourself and to connect with your your higher self to connect with god your angels your ancestors spirit guides like whatever you believe in or whatever you you know subscribe to it helps you to connect back with that become more in alignment with who you are become grounded and it's just kind of like a recharge because like i said you know we're out here in the world having to communicate with people having to deal with bills and deal with real life things and we can get so disconnected from the other half of us because we are spiritual beings and i'm going to do a video about this but like you all whether you believe it or not everybody is on a spiritual journey it's just some people have not woken up to the idea that we are spirits like we are spiritual beings in a human body like some people haven't realized that um, but we're all on a spiritual journey, whether or not you realize it or not. But we're so forced to be um, in the material world that we lose connection or we can't people can lose connection with 
the spiritual world. If you're a Virgo or if you're a Pisces, you totally understand that because that's the whole thing with Virgo and Pisces, the spiritual end and the material end, but that's another video. I wanna show you all just a little bit of like this little altar space that I created for you all in the video I'm gonna have after this. I showed you all how I created a sacred space or altar space in my home just with stuff around my house this is not my altar space but i just created it just to show you all that you can easily do it in your home um but yeah so here are the things oh, sorry i'm trying not to I'm trying to get a better angle all right so here are some things that you can do um in your sacred space or at your altar so don't let the word altar get to like, oh my goodness, altar. But like a lot of people have altars in, they home, in their homes and they don't even realize it. So have you had loved ones who passed away and you might have like photographs of your loved ones and you might have candles there um, or just even photographs of your loved ones. In a sense, that's like an ancestor altar. You're showing um, homage. I say homage. Do you all say homage or homage? Anyways, you're showing homage or homage to your loved ones. You're showing that, hey, we still remember you. Or if it's their birthday, you might light light a candle for their birthday, or you might have a cupcake or a piece of cake for their birthday. Like people actually do this for their loved ones, and they don't realize like that's that's an ancestor altar. You're still showing them love, even though they're not here with you in a physical plane. So, so don't let the word altar get to you. You know, it's just a sacred space or a space with your energy um that you use in your practice so that your meditation practice yoga practice whatever it is that you do you use that space so um so for me i like to meditate in my space it's pretty much all i can do because like i said i can't even stand i'm just like just sitting in there in zen mode uh so i like to meditate i do not take my phone in there i still will use my phone and like play like uh chimes and stuff like that on my phone because i have not gotten a tibetan singing bowl which i am manifesting a tibetan singing bowl into my home i'm getting one before 2020 i'm getting you one a really nice one it's coming to me it's gonna get it's gonna be a gift so i'm looking forward to that but yeah so you can have one of those in there but anyways what was i gonna say but you can meditate in your space you can do yoga in your space uh you can write affirmations you can say affirmations you can um you can journal in your space you can do scripting in your space you can do a lot in your face you can do different rituals based off the moon cycles in your space like there's a lot that you can do for me i feel like especially for beginners beginners like begin yeah i told you i was late but especially for beginners like to me the most important thing to first start off with is meditation like it'll take you in some of these spaces and i'm gonna do a video about meditation because it's not just sitting there being quiet and like clearing your head you know there's plenty of forms of meditation but for me doing that specific meta type of meditation is very very powerful and has really really helped me and just like I said, just having the space just keeps you reminded that this is like this is what you are intending to do, you know, because just think about it. If if you're in your home and you're like, OK, I want to work out, I want to work out and you don't have like a workout area in your home. I feel like you, you I mean, you can work out, of course, without a workout area. But if you have a specific spot in your house where, you know, you're going to go there and work out like I feel like you're more likely to do it because it's there. You walk past the room and you're like, you know what? I should be freaking working out. That's how it is with me. Like, I'm like, OK, I got to remember I got to med meditate today. I got to do that. So it's just it's just there. And I think it's super important, like I said, to help you to recharge, to get back into who you are and kind of clear out everybody else's energy. That's why I don't think that you should have your space of course in an area with a lot of traffic in your home it should be either like with me it's in a little closet underneath our steps um you can put it in a closet in your bedroom trust me you have the space you have to just make the space for it um you can put it in your bedroom you can have it in your bedroom maybe just put like a divider up if you have like enough um room in there but i would say Put it like in a closet or if you or if you have the luxury of having a second room or an extra room that you can have like designated to that's what i'm gonna have when we get our house 
designated to it then yes do that um but even if you don't have any of that just have it up in your bedroom just like how, right now this is what i have and i kind of have a mini version of like a, a sacred area in my bedroom um and i'll show you all in the other video but like once again it's like you see it and you know okay it's time for me to get into my zen mode it's time for me to relax it's time for me to really connect with myself and i think we all think like netflix and chill like that's relaxing but you're still sitting back and being like given certain thoughts because you're watching tv subliminal messages and stuff but when you really connect with yourself you really connect with everything like it's crazy like you disconnect to reconnect it's amazing um but yeah that's that's why you should have it that's what you can do in your space um and it's your space it's like especially for women like i just feel like we 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 go in and then wait okay i'm trying to think okay women take what's on the outside and bring it in right and then men they push their energy out so we're we're constantly bringing energy into our space you know we're constantly absorbing things and i think it's just important for us to disconnect from that disconnect from being a wife from being a mother from being you know a caregiver from being whatever we tie to ourselves to and just to have our space where it's our space where it's for us and we can be in a more relaxed state i think it's very important it makes me a better wife a better mom to do it and when i don't do it when i wasn't doing it consistently i noticed like a huge difference in the way i was acting and the energy i was putting out there but i feel like i just i've had like some major growth throughout this past year and i want to continue to share that with you all so if you're interested consider subscribing share this video with someone comment down below are you going to create a sacred space or does it kind of seem weird to you i feel like you should do it give it a try it's not like you're i don't know some people will probably feel like oh no i can't do that can't do it can't do it. that's not for me but don't i just i i urge you to have an open mind and to also just think about it like don't i don't know never mind it's for who it's for if it's for you great if not <laughs> keep it pushing um but yeah that's all i want to talk about i do want to add that no matter if you have a physical sacred space or not at the end of the day you are sacred your body is a sacred space you're already in a sacred space so no matter what your external environment is just know that you always have you you always have you because I'm saying this because it's times where I literally was homeless, where I did not have my own space, where I didn't really have anything really on the outside externally. And I had to definitely find solace in, in myself and who I was as an individual. And that's literally why I named this channel Stay Forever True, because at the end of the day, you have you that's literally all you have on this earth is you you have you don't own anything else but yourself so you have to take the time to give yourself energy to give yourself energy and to recharge and to like i said become more in alignment with who you are and with your higher self so that you can grow so that you can level up you can share yourself with the world and then you can come back and 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 just just see yourself and it's just like you can really connect and something else i want to add is that having altar spaces also you can connect with your ancestors so i burn ancestor money and i'll link a video down below talking more about it and where i got the ancestor money from but i burn ancestor money that was the main reason why i started to do it because people was like get an ancestor altar get an ancestor altar burn ancestor money it'll really help you yada 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 it helps your ancestors yada 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 I was like, you know what, let me just give it a try. And that's why I was burning it consistently twice a day for two weeks. And it's just like, I have, I feel like literally like I, I just feel like a little, not necessarily a voice, but like sometimes I just have an urge to do certain things. And it's just like, or I kind of get like a, a soft, subtle nudge to do this or to not do it. And I, I feel like I'm just more connected with myself with god and like my ancestors my guides my angels like really looking out for me like i feel i know that i'm connected 
way more to spirit right now and it's just like it's just amazing like yeah it's crazy but like i said this video is for some people and it's not for some people and that's totally fine you know i have a whole bunch of other content plus i have a whole other channel um but if you ride with me ride with me if not it's okay like this is youtube there's plenty of other platforms i don't know but i love you all thanks again so much and thank you for watching my how to take a spiritual bath video like that video has really been going up so i really appreciate that all right i have to go i gotta go i'm tired